Welcome back. You're watching CNBC's Squawk on the Street, live from the financial capital of the world, where the opening bell is set to ring in just about 30 seconds. Uh, talking of a merger Monday, no major news to kick things off here, but a couple of smaller things we're watching uh, were with regard to Yahoo, uh, maybe Microsoft getting involved there, Mike. The latest twists and turns now with the Starwood Hotels deal. Um, you know, a couple of other things that could move the needle, but nothing major. Nothing too major, but I do think, watch Starwood, because that stock probably is going to trade above the likely new value of the bid, so people think this bidding war is not over. Uh, we understand. We're going to watch Pandora here, by the way. Here at the big board, Shepherd's Men raising support for the Share Military Initiative in Atlanta, which treats veterans, ringing the bell there uh, with a traumatic brain injury and PTSD. Uh, and over at the NASDAQ Eastside House Settlement as well, a nonprofit serving children and families in the South Bronx and New York International Auto Show. Let's take a look at Pandora, if we can, which has just replaced its CEO, bringing back founder uh, Tim Westergren there. And we're going to talk to Michael Pactor in just a few minutes with more on his thoughts for this company, which is in the midst uh, of a transformation potentially, trying to get beyond that radio service, which has now become so competitive. Those shares are down nearly 8%. And when you do have a founder come back, typically, at the, especially these tech companies, it often means there was a sort of strategic crossroads. They had a dif difference of opinion on how to proceed. So I think the stakes are pretty high for Pandora. And what about Yahoo? Let's look there as well in these reports that a combination of Microsoft's and private equity firms could be making a bid. But